Uh, welcome to lecture 3 components of embedded system the main component of embedded system is microcontroller or microprocessor in this lecture series i will focus only on microcontroller the microcontroller is an integrated circuit it executes the program which is stored in the program memory and what are the three main criteria for choosing a microcontroller you won't pick randomly the microcontroller what is your project what is the selection of your project for that project what is the processing power what is the computational needs to complete that task as well as what is the cost you have to be, take this into the consideration then only you can go for choosing the microcontroller don't i am doing project with the a051 adreno raspberry pi don't come like that Okay, first you can choose the project. What is the processing power it is required, really required to complete the task efficiently as well as cost effective. For example, you are choosing a 8051 or Arduino based project. There are a lot of projects you can perform. Uh, for example, GPS based, GSM based, or a 5D based project, robotic based, Android based project, simple voice control project. Some low cost project like a LPG leakage detector with a buzzer indicator using microcontroller. These applications and all you can perform with the help of simple 8 bit microcontroller. The 8051 microcontroller with a uh, cost is just 40 rupees. Adreno, you know, the board you can go and purchase it is around 350 rupees. With the help of uh, this microcontroller, you can uh, perform the for whatever the application, the project I say, you can perform. No need of Raspberry Pi. For example, use choosing the project like face recognition or number, number plate recognition or wireless video surveillance robotic system. Those places and all, the video and the images play a major role. Those applications definitely you require large processing power and a computational requirement. Those places you can choose a uh, Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi cost is around 2000 or 2500 plus. That is also you take it into the consideration. For simple control application, uh, whatever the applica application or the project I said, uh, which is used with the help of, which is done with the help of uh, 8051 or Adreno, the simple microcontroller is not sufficient. No need of Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi where image and video play a major role, those applications we can go for Raspberry Pi application as well as another very important availability of software development tools it is a open source uh, software development tools are available or not to uh, write the program as well as you can compile and execute the program and third one wide availability and real reliable sources of the microcontroller suppose you are choosing the microcontroller the data sheets are available or not with the data sheets only we can able to know what is the supply voltage how many pins are there what is the uh, clock frequency how many digital pins analog pins are there uh, how many bus protocols are available so these things and all we came to know with that help of that uh, sources only so these things and all available in the internet or some other sources you can check before you choosing the right microcontroller once you can choose the microcontroller you need to program okay you write a program for your application with the help of embedded C. Okay, here I focus only on 8051 microcontroller. We write a program for 8051 with the help of embedded C. Where to write a program with the help of K cross compiler? It is an IDE, integrated development environment. In this only you can able to write embedded C programming. What is the purpose of what is the use of this K cross compiler? It is convert your high level from high level. Uh, language program that is C into the machine executable file that file is what is that dot x embedded C file is dot C machine executable file is dot x once you can generate this file this file can be uh, transmitted sorry translated into the uh, ROM read only memory for clear understanding I pick an embedded C programming it is a high level language program uh, just I am sending the values from 0 to 255 uh, on the port P1. P1 consists of 8 pins. Suppose you want to uh, transmit 0. So, in 8 pin means 4040. Okay. 
1 means 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 likewise you have to be transmit 0 to 255 through the port p1 p1 consists of 8 bits okay this is embedded c program but this program your microcontroller can't understand the microcontroller understand only the machine executable code with the extension dot x you have to be convert this program into the machine understandable code with the help of scale cross compiler with the help of the scale compiler you can convert this high level program into the machine executable code and K is very popular cross compiler for 8051 microcontroller as well as this scale can be support the nearly 300 plus different microcontrollers this scale can able to generate that machine executable code other than this 8051 microcontroller 300 plus different microcontroller can able to what is that generate the machine executable code what is turbo c turbo c and before that what is difference between compiler and cross compiler compiler means you can compile the program and execute in the host system only whichever the system you are writing the program with that system only you are going to be executed that is what it is compiler for example cross compiler you are writing the code with the host machine and execute it and same code you can execute it in the other device then we can claim that compiler is a cross compiler you can see it is a different that turbo c compiler turbo c compiler never ask target device okay why means this is a compiler it will not compatible with whatever the code you executed with the help of this compiler turbo c compiler that uh, machine executable code will not run with that other machine or other device that's why it never ask target device there is a microcontroller for which you want to write program once you can complete the program you having a dot x file that is a machine executable file that you have to be programming into this microcontroller you can fuse that code into this microcontroller there is a programmer it is there you can fix this 8051 with this slot any one of the slot from this host machine you have a dot hex file that is executable file you can transfer through usb cable using this programmer you can transfer that code in this microcontroller and my suggestion for the uh, beginners who are starting a uh, mini project using this uh, microcontroller based project better you can start with uh, what is that purchase the discrete components from ic to the register, wires, buttons, uh, crystal oscillator, LEDs you can purchase from the electronic shop discreetly after that you got to be connect ok and you can what is that see the output then only you get the confidence with how this controller is uh, worked what is the use of this uh, crystal oscillator what is how this switch is working what is the working of the potentiometer what is the working of the uh, sensor uh, sensor suppose you are using the pressure or humidity sensor you are unable to connect directly with this 8051 in between you require an ADC how to interface the ADC with 8051 those fundamental things only you teach you a lot rather than directly you can purchase on development board you deploy some application you are unable to uh, learn much about it ok that's why my suggestion is to you start with the, the uh, purchase the discrete components you can connect individually with that breadboard once you complete with this breadboard next move into the PCB design whatever you done with uh, breadboard next you can start implement using the printed circuit board ok once you complete this one you confident with all the devices working uh, the sensor working how to interface sensor with uh, 8051 uh, uh, with the interface uh, with the uh, analog to digital converter and how to interface LCD with this uh, 8051 how to supply voltage is providing to this 8051 what is the supply voltage you have to be provide Th what is the how to connect this uh, crystal oscillator ok those things and all you can uh, learn from the scratch then you can go for this development board ok this is a ready made board ok here you see this is Arduino based uh, 
development board this is 8051 based uh, development board so in this everything is what is that inbuilt crystal oscillator adc ic's uh, through this adapter you can what is that powering up the these boards so everything is already it is the connected everything okay you doesn't have a scope to uh, learn much about it okay everything is ready made just you can pick the uh, what is it purchase this development board and you can deploy the application and whatever the peripherals uh, or a sensor or output uh, actuators you are using just to connect with that ports you can what is it check the output this is a second level okay through this you are unable to what is that uh, learn much okay that that's why my advice is to start from this basic then go to pcb once you get confident next you go for what is that purchase the development board for deployment of some high end application okay what are the other components required for make an embedded system very very important it is the sensors and the actuator what are the sensor sensor means just provide the simple information you take a real time environment so many the real time parameters are there for example temperature uh, the light intensity and humidity pressure sensor water level uh, sensor uh, soil moisture sensor so many things you can i see list of dot level uh, sensor gas uh, sensor proximity sensor ultrasonic sensor gyroscope okay humidity touch sensor ir sensor okay receiver as well as transmitter okay these are the sensors are available it just provides simple information just with the help of adc you convert this analog signal into the digital signal and directly feed into the 8051 and these are the input okay that just provides some simple information and come to the actuator cause events to occur in the environment so what are the actuator you are using light emitting diodes lcd display some motor buzzers uh, in motor there are different variety of motors servo motor stepper motor dc motor this is a dc pop motor now it is uh, very famous uh, why become famous this is a covid 19 uh, the many of the the people many of the companies they are what is that they are using automatic uh, alcohol dispenser in the bowl they are using this uh, submersible uh, uh, dc pump motor this dc pump motor it, it helps uh, to pump the uh, sanitizer from the bowl and give it outside from the bowl pc pump motor it it requires it has consists of only two terminals positive and negative but to drive this motor you require some uh, uh, higher current rating it is required okay whatever to run the dc motor that is not sufficient for running this motor you require higher rating uh, of current okay the next very important thing interfacing with the physical world how to interfacing with the physical world with the help of analog to digital converter okay interfacing means you having a 051 is a, a real world is a real world environment you have to be interface this two with the help of this adc convert analog data into digital data used to interface with analog sensor next digital to analog converter converts digital data into analog data if you want to drive any actuator uh, you can't able to drive with the help of digital data with the help of analog voltage current we can drive that uh, dc pump motor or uh, some servo motor uh, led so not led led doesn't require this uh, dac directly you connect to the output pin of uh, 8051 you can able to get the output okay wherever the analog data is uh, really essential to drive the outputs those places we can use this dac rather than no need of dac the basic components just summarize microcontroller is very very important it is a brain of the any embedded system you do only give the intelligence to the uh, what is it entire system and connector usb if you want to transfer the code from uh, a laptop to your device the programmer with the help of usb ethernet cable jumper wires potentiometer photo register keypad buttons as well as some sensors outputs like led buzzer motor others to crystal oscillator to uh, provide a clock frequency for the uh, microcontroller the capacitor the combination of capacitor and crystal oscillator only you can be able to make a clock circuit for a051 
as well as resistor to limit the current flow and the board. And Internet of Things, I used in the lecture 2, uh, I discussed only the embedded system. I had not covered up this Internet of Things. The embedded system, these two blocks already we know. The embedded system is a system which is going to be performed only one task with the help of microprocessor or microcontroller plus some software along with some input and output devices. Okay, uh, I listed out the things for using this microcontroller. We can perform this application. Some high processing power application, you can go for microprocessor. I listed out some video, image processing, some audio application. Along with these two, we can add some internet. Okay, further, what is that improvement of the uh, enhancement of the function of that particular device. Okay, you can anywhere control this, uh, the things anywhere from the world through this internet. Okay, that is internet of things. It is an embedded system. Everything is common what we discussed so far. Plus, we are uh, adding what is that one more thing that is a network. Okay, through internet, you can control this things okay for internet of things this part is very very essential with that we can add in this internet to connection add network connection to the device to further enhance its function that's it okay thank you